welcome to Running Instinct. My name is Maxim, and for this video, I'll be reviewing the fabled Nike Dragonflies. So, I've heard these are pretty hard to get, but that wasn't true for me. I just walked into my local running store and got fitted for some cool track spikes, which happen to be Dragonflies. Uh, same day delivery, I guess. Sort of a disclaimer here, I've never worn any other track spikes. I had the Nike Rivals or Cross Country. Uh, these are a little dirty, but trust me, they this is the clean one. The other one's dirtier. <laughs> and I also had some Nike Racing Flats that I liked. Um, for the these are Nike Flex, so yeah, the no laces. That's what made me buy them. I just didn't like the laces on the other ones. So until cross country of 2021, um, I had never worn spikes, so these rivals were the first ones, first spikes I ever had. And just like that, I started running in spikes. So back to the dragonflies. First off, the looks. Of course, they look awesome, and you can instantly tell that they're some light racing shoes, but they, on they only have two colors, this lime green, which they call uh, hyper orange and they also have white and I would personally get some other color like blue or yellow or a darker or heavier color but overall the color doesn't matter and what matters is how they feel and perform and I've ran a few times in them now and I feel like compared to my trainers or uh, cross-country spikes they are definitely springy and very light the shape forces your foot into an efficient running position so you land on your midfoot and nowhere else so you can see the shape is yeah, so you land only on your midfoot, and there's a when you land, you could definitely feel a springy plate inside, and you can feel the tension and technology of these shoes working in your favor. So the bottom of these shoes, I'm pretty sure it's just most like most other track spikes. Um, it's a plastic plate here um, with the spikes in, and then it's a little softer foam um, in the back, sort of like cross country spikes, but more like. Um, track spikes instead. So I cannot say if these shoes truly made me faster and I cannot think of a practical experiment to test that out mostly because any changes in times on the track can be hard to spot and I can easily attribute the improvement to something else like a good uh, some good sleep that day or a well-timed meal or many other things. The main point of this video then comes to comparing the dragonflies to what is currently available and as I've said, I had these Nike flats that are perfect for triathlons because you can get them on quick and they're light. And I've had the Nike Cross Rivals that served me well during my cross country season with their extra cushion when compared to regular track spikes. They've got a lot more cushion and they're a lot heavier than track spikes, which is probably the main difference between uh, cross country spikes and track spikes. So. Then you have the track spikes, which distance runners need to be quite flexible. Not the runners themselves, but the shoes need to be quite flexible while holding some efficient shape that's perfect for track running. And there's a few options for this. There's the Nike Zoom Victory, which is a popular option and very similar to the Dragonflies, but the Victories are more expensive than the Dragonflies. So here in this chart, I'm also comparing similar shoes like the Brooks Mach 19 and Adidas Distant Star, along with, of course, the Nike Cross Rivals, Nike Zoom Victory, Nike Zoom Dragonflies. And looking at the chart, it's pretty clear that the Dragonflies give you the most bang for your buck. And honestly, after racing in the Dragonflies, I wouldn't change into other distance spikes on the track because of the fit, the technology, and the pricing. It's all just really good for um, the type of spikes that you need on track. Maybe for cross country, I, I wouldn't wear these for cross country unless it's a fully grass course, just because it's like plastic and um, I'm probably gonna slip if it's like on, if, I, if I'm running on cement, um, unlike the cross country spikes. And overall, if you were on edge about getting dragonflies, I can attest that if you need some distance track spikes, not cross country spikes, distance track spikes, then dragonflies are your best bet. I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next ones, and thank you for watching.